Was that him? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I've been working in the beauty industry all my life, ever since I've been introduced to beauty, but professionally, um, since 2011, yeah. I was introduced to beauty by my mother. She really loved her simple makeup, you know, mascara and foundation. And I grew up watching her do all these things as a routine on a daily basis. And when I became of age, I started experimenting as well. However, I didn't train in that until way later when I found myself in um, a production house. And I realized there were so many errors um, watching celebrities and guests get done. And I thought I could do a better job. So I thought, why not just <laughs> learn a new trade and try it out? So that's how I fell in love with beauty. Okay, where does my inspiration come from? Wow, that's a long story. The shorter version is nature and everything around me, my mood influences what I do, the people around me. I love being around people with positive energy and they also direct my creativity a lot. So my team is very crucial and my support system and a lot of my inspiration comes from them actually. As a younger child, I was very much interested in fashion design. So I did work a little bit under the famous and um, may he rest in peace, Kofi Ansa. He was a great designer if not the greatest designer here in Ghana and he did some amazing avant-garde styles and that's where my love for avant-garde came because he made me aware of so many possibilities. He really didn't care about anyone's opinions but his work was absolutely world-class, just unique. So after working in a production house, I went out into the freelancing world in 2014 and I've not regretted it one day. It's a really vibrant industry here in Ghana. There's a lot of new people coming in. So the service part of it is very exciting. Then there weren't as many everyday people requiring the makeup services. Now you have more people that want to train to become practitioners and also to offer the service to others and then the everyday people as well are getting used to calling the regular makeup artists to get glam for a party or something like that so it's a lot of fun it's growing in leaps and bounds there's also really great improvement in the industry with awards and certification and the standards that are being implemented by the government so it's a good thing i think it's bound to become a one big vocational skill that people are going to be learning very soon. In Africa, I must say, I have been to Nigeria to be a part of makeup events there at Lagos Fashion Week for several years. I've been to Uganda for some of the um, fashion shows there. I've been to South Africa as well, not to work, but just to observe their fashion industry and beauty industry. And I must say that all across Africa, it's safe to say the beauty industry is a really big one. I don't know the numbers that you're going to attribute to that, but it's definitely a multi-million dollar industry and everyone is jumping on it, whether it's services, products, manufacturing, it's a great time to be African. Do I believe in beauty standards? Well, that's a very interesting question because I actually embrace all beauty, no matter what it is. So yes, I do respect the fact that different territories, different countries have different standards of beauty, you know, in places where freckled skin is considered not so beautiful, other places consider it stunning, you know, um, facial shapes and body shapes hair color, eye color. It's all art to me in my eyes. I embrace all that beauty and I love it so much that the beauty standards are being broken down and the doors are being opened for everyone. So I can't say I believe in beauty standards because I think everyone is beautiful in their own way and it's only a matter of trying to understand and embrace who you are as an individual to, to come to your own, to come into your own beauty and own it. Well, I must say that I wake up every morning reminding myself to move past my 10 fingers. And what I mean by that is I want to be bigger than just me. I don't want to be selfish, I want to be selfless. And that comes really easy to me. I love to meet people, I love to educate them through conversations. And I am building a platform through my studio, Alexi Glam Studio, where we are going to be offering services to the everyday person 
top-notch services may I add and we're going to be training young men and women in the beauty industry as well as impacting them with um, world-class standards a thousand percent world-class customer service generally I just want to build one big world for everyone to get into, everyone creating beauty, a part of beauty, a studio that can be used by creatives and a place that is safe for everyone to be in and have fun. A memorable experience for me as a makeup artist was when I collaborated with Fair Justice, Rania Odayamat and Francisco Kuroko to create beauty portraits of 12 women serving life and death sentences in the Insawan prison here in Accra, Ghana. It was a very humbling experience. I was brought into the process at a time where the inmates had created their mood boards and it was very touching to be put in that scenario with them. I was a changed person after that in the sense that it tells you how life is for these women you see them they look like the regular person you know doing something working and the, when we transform them you could see the impact it had on them we dressed them up we we collaborated as well with Velma's accessories for beautiful headpieces and crowns the inspiration was to make them feel like royals and if you see the images from that you you cannot watch it with a dry eye we all were touched and I think that everyone that was a part of it left the prison just really appreciating the strength that these women have um, and also fighting for a better justice system here in Ghana. The future for Alexi Glam is a really bright one. It's so bright, gotta wear my sunglasses, guys. <laughs> I'm still going to be front and center. I'm going to focus now on my YouTube content and creating beautiful beauty content for you on your TVs and who knows, maybe on your radio. So you're going to be hearing my voice ever so often and I hope you guys tune into that. Um, so it's just a big picture, okay? So we're going to be serving you beautifully. We're going to be training you to go out there and make that point and um, we're going to be offering you our studios to create beautiful content and we're going to be at the center of creating content and retailing to the everyday consumer so that's a lot <laughs>